welcome to another episode of Fantasy Life. It has been quite a while. I'm sorry for those of you who have been waiting for more Fantasy Life. I'm pretty burnt out on Nabinoji right now, honestly. But so many of you want to see more Mabinoji that I just can't say no. So I am going to run a mission for you. Uh, there's several other things I could do, but most of it would require help at this point. So, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to do what is natural to me. I'm going to play the game. Alright, so... Jesus, has been a while. When we left... Le blah, 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 blah. When we last left off, I fought a fucking dragon, and now... I don't even know where I'm going or what I'm doing, so... Yeah. I feel very slow, and I can't mount a horse while I have a pumpkin detecting things for me. And I have absolutely no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Eliminating all of the remaining enemies. Where are the remaining enemies? Hey, hey, buddy, have you seen any enemies around here? Anywhere? Anything? No? Jesus, this town is so fucking desolate. This is depressing. I feel like I might have better luck just hopping on a fucking horse. I'm gonna hop on a fucking horse. Hey, when I said hop on a fucking horse, I meant... Alright. Now let's ride around and hope that I run into an enemy. If not, then this has all been for naught, and... I'd rather not have done all of this for naught. Hey, enemies! Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, look at the time. Is it... Yep. It's... Killing time. I'm going to kill the everything. Oh, God. Oh, double God. Ha ha! Yeah, the everything is dead. Wow, holy Jesus. I didn't know I could hit that hard. Good lord. When did I start putting out numbers this big? It must be the strength boost. It must be the strength boost. I cannot attribute that to anything but my Dark Knight transformation right now. That is unusual for me, and I can't say I'm complaining. I, that's, that's an awesome unusuality. It's probably not a word, but I'm making it up anyway. Yeah, so it's been like, what, a month since I last played this game? I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who have been eagerly awaiting this episode. And I'm sorry that I don't have anything special. I'm sorry, it's just regular gameplay. But, you know... Sometimes people just like to play video games, and... Because, you know, video games are kind of cool. And these skeletons are in dire need of killing. I have never seen a bunch of skeletons more alive than I have right now. Living skeletons are kind of scary. Jesus Christ, what would you do? Seriously, if you like ran into a real live living undead. Unliving dead? Dead guy walking? Zombies? Skeleton things? What the hell am I talking about? Jesus Christ. I just got off work. It's like 5 in the morning. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is kind of a boring tactic. I should do something more interesting. Like, um... Hmm. What would be an interesting combat tactic? Somebody tell me something that would be fun to watch. Like, a fun combat tactic other than 
kill the everything. Killing the everything is effective, but I'm trying to be entertaining, not effective. Wait, can't I be both? Can I be both? I need your permission. Can I be both? Please? If I give you a cookie, will you let me be both? I forgot what I was talking about, so that just sounded really dirty. I'm sure if I remember... Oh, yeah. No. Okay, I almost had it. My brain is distracted by the killing of zombies, so... Yeah. Holy shit, how did I get to level 6? Oh, yeah, just rebirth. Yeah, I haven't logged on in so long that I got a free rebirth. They were like, here... You're too old! Turn back into a child again! And I was like, nope, I'm gonna be 17, bitches. And they were just like, okay. Woohoo! I really do not need to be leveling up this fast. I am so close to a thousand that, um, that it's gonna totally screw me once I start doing Generation 9. Like, where am I? 863? I, I'm probably not going to hit 1,000 this rebirth, which is good. Because I'm probably not going to do Generation 9 this rebirth either. I will, hopefully. But I really don't want to be, like, searching for random parties. I need to find a group of people that are willing to come along with me and just, you know, sit through it with me and get this crap done. Because waiting for parties is freaking brutal. I had to wait, like five or six hours for that party for the uh, dragon. Jesus Christ. It's like people don't even want to fight dragons. That fight was awesome. It was short. It was so short it didn't really do itself any justice. It made me want to go back and try and solo it again. Just to be like, yeah! This is so much more awesome than it looks. Because it was, it was pretty freaking awesome. Uh... Just riding around town looking for more fucking undead, because why not? Oh no! Okay, now I can no longer utilize the power of killing everything in like one shot. I can probably still kill things pretty quickly, but you know, not as quickly. Where is everything? For Christ's sake, why are you hiding from me? Do I scare you? Is it because I dress in black? Should I change my colors? Should I dress in like pink or something? Would you then rather like to like make undead buddies with me? Awkward silence. I guess that means no. Alright, seriously, where the hell are these things? Because this is getting annoying. I hate this mission already. But it's not difficult, probably because I'm doing it on the lowest difficulty level because I don't really want to stress myself right after work. But yeah. Ooh. There's a road I have not traveled. It looks like a road that the undead have not traveled either. Have they? Anywhere? No? Okay. So yeah. As you guys have probably noticed, I've been playing other games lately, and I will continue to play other games as well, because, as I found out rather quickly, trying to focus on just one game, for me, didn't really work that well. I kind of burnt out on it, and all the ideas in my head just kind of exploded, and I had no idea what to do, so I needed to back off for a while. I need to get some straight ideas, like, come up with a game plan, and it'd be cool to, like, because I've had people asking if they'd like, if they could, uh, be on the show with me, and I think that'd be a pretty cool idea, and I think that this is probably the best game to start with that, because this is the game that everybody knows me from, because I'm, this is, like, the only game I've actually advertised myself with. I advertise myself like a shameless whore on the forums. And I think that's where a lot of you found me. And thank you for finding me. Because otherwise, uh, nobody would be watching any of this. And I'd just be a pathetic man playing video games all by himself. And that's just kind of sad. So thank you. Uh, at the time of this recording, I have like 16 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching, for being my... Uh, my anti-Forever Alone, I guess. 
would be a reasonable way to say it. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing this for fun, though, you know? But it's more fun to share it with other people. And that's kind of what I want to do. I want to share this with other people. Why the fuck am I not done with this mission yet? I, I'm rambling about completely unrelated things. I need to finish this mission before I start rambling about more unrelated things like, like, like cats and... Oh my god, I love cats. I've got two cats. And they're freaking amazing. Jesus Christ, it's already happening. I like dogs too, but I don't have one. I haven't had one for as long as I can remember. I know my mom used to have dogs. Why am I rambling? Am I nervous? I think I'm nervous. My knee's twitching. See? Even after this, like... What? I, I, I've been doing this YouTube thing for like two months now. I'm still not used to talking into a microphone. I have always hated, like, voice chatting. For whatever odd reason, it's like a phobia or something. I just don't like it. So, I'm not sure why I ever thought this would be fun, but it is fun. And I hope it's fun for you guys. And I guess this is the part where I get out of bed and take a shower. No, I'm sorry, that's an inappropriate reference. Okay, yeah, this is getting annoying. Where the fuck are the enemies? I'm trying to eliminate the remaining enemies, but I don't know where they are. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Typically, they'd be like in a line, like they'd be on a path, and I followed the path I found, and I, I, there's got to be more, like branching off into one of these side streets. There's got to be some somewhere. Because uh, if there's not, that means that this is bugged, and I highly doubt that this is bugged. It's much more likely that I have just completely missed the enemies that are, like, right under my nose. Okay, really, where are you guys? I need to come up with some cat calls to call, uh, skeletons. You're looking awfully, uh, bony today, Mr. Skeletons. Would you like to come and, uh, do skeleton things? Polish our trachea? No. What's a bone? I, I don't know any scientific bone names off the top of my head. God damn it. Well, there goes one joke down the fucking toilet. I have been past this jousting arena like five times now. I'm pretty sure that if they are not here the first time, they will not be here the next five times. So, where am I going to go? Why did it have to be this mission? Of all missions, for me to decide, Hey, let's do a video today, and let's just do a random mission and play games and be awesome, because playing games is fun, and... Yeah. Oh, speaking of playing games, I'm getting off topic again. Somebody stop me. Um, I am definitely open to suggestions for games that you guys would like to see. Because pretty much at this point, I'm just playing whatever I feel like playing. Uh, there have been a couple of games I've tried to play, but uh, didn't really feel like they made good Let's Plays. I didn't feel like the videos that came out of it were entertaining at all. So... If I wouldn't want to watch it, I'm not going to post it up for you guys to not want to watch it, you know? But maybe I'm wrong. Like, one of them was Torchlight 2. I have been told by several people that Torchlight 2 is an amazing game, hearkening back to the days of Diablo. From the, like, half hour I played it, it was pretty freaking awesome. Thank God, Undead! Yeah, it was pretty awesome, but I had absolutely no, like, record record recordable nothing worth watching in my opinion you know it, it probably it seems like it'd be one of those games it'd be like let's get a bunch of people together and we'll do like uh, group commentary and we'll make it fun that way 
that seems like that kind of game. Like, Magicka seems kind of like that kind of game, too, except Magicka's fucking awesome. And Torchlight is awesome, it's good, but it didn't really hit me the same way Magicka did. Magicka just hit all the right buttons for me, and I have loved Magicka. I've been, like, playing that off and on, off-camera so freaking much. That's how I learned a lot of those tricks that I showed off in there. I'm just playing around in challenge maps, experimenting. Read a couple of guides that gave a couple of interesting suggestions that by the time I read them, I had already figured out. But, you know, it just helped to cement in my mind, oh, this is the best spell. This, there really isn't much that I could do better than this. And I'm talking about a game that's completely unrelated to this one. Let's change that to Legend of Zelda, which I've also started playing and is kind of a pain to deal with because I'm emulating it. And emulating a game is never quite the same. I'm playing it with an Xbox 360 controller, for Christ's sake. That's like blasphemy. But it's a whole lot better than this crappy $20 gamepad that never really worked right for me. Yeah, if you guys ever want a, a gamepad for your computer, just buy a wired Xbox controller. Save yourself the trouble. It's, in my opinion, worth the money. Alright, I'm going to try and focus a little bit over here. Because I do not want to attract the attention of the Dark Commander at this point. I just want to kill off the minions and then do battle. Epic combat. Speaking of epic combat, I should probably equip my epic combat weapon. Alright. Now you're dead. Now let's get this party started. Do I still remember my combos? Hell yes I do! Do you think I'd forget that easily? Oh shit, this is the guy who can do that thing that totally locks me down. I gotta be careful. I gotta be very careful. How many levels did I just gain? Because that was a very... I gained 10 levels. Excellent. Alright. Obligatory. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't even know you could teabag him, having OG. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. Alright, so this video has gone on for far too long. And has been far too much rambling. But, you guys... You guys came for the Mabinogi, so I'm going to give you a little bit more Mabinogi. I will try to play this game a little bit more, but at this point I really am totally burnt out on it. And there's not a lot that I can do, that I want to do, without help right now anyway. I need at least three people for Generation 9. If you want to be one of those three people, let me know. And we'll come up with a plan of some sort to start knocking this stuff out and get some more uh, Mabinogi videos up. But for now, I'm going to call this one... So, you know. You know the drill. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Peace.